Hi, it's Toko Explore once again, this time from Mombazang, uh, France. You are in for another lounge review, not of Mombazang, but of Toulouse, which is two hours uh, south of Mombazang. So, um, yeah, let's go. Continue for five kilometers. Hey, welcome to Toulouse Blagnac Airport. Just dropping off our bags right now and then uh, through security and into the lounge. The lounge um, is called La Croix du Sud and um, the Cross of the South, which is. Um, I'll tell you later. Okay, just made it here into the duty free, and there are two things I want to show you. First thing Toulouse is famous for is rugby right you see the uh, rugby and um, here um, this is rugby and they have one of the world's best uh, rugby teams the other thing i wanna show you is just in front of me which is unique so when you come to toulouse you absolutely have to check this out as an af gig you have this um, uh, planes here on display yeah I might buy one for myself for my for my home office um, let's see what they have of course they have the a350 um, then they have a smaller um, a320 neo for 40 euros what else of course the one and only a380 and uh, here they have the beluga Yeah, if you come to Toulouse, uh, don't forget to check out the merch here at the airport. Um, all these great plane models from Airbus. Airbus is producing a part of the airplanes here in Toulouse. Some of them are also produced in Hamburg and also some parts of the aircraft in, in England and in Spain. Missing? No, got my Happy? Very unhappy. Very. Okay, first impression here. Really nice, cozy, really nice. Cozy, nice. Really well decorated. I like it. How about the food? Not much choice, huh? My wife is French, by the way, so she, of course, she's defending our country. Okay, guys, just um, got here, um, made it into the lounge. Um, I really love the entrance with this huge screen. Um, and then we, it was quite a yeah, straightforward process to show our uh, priority pass and our uh, boarding pass um, as well. Um, what you need to know is that currently the ground floor is closed, only the first floor is, is open. Um, so we had to go one level up and then um, you are um, in the yeah, main seating area, you have some uh, uh, buffet, um, um, two buffets actually, and with, with various drinks and snacks and, and sandwiches, no hot um, uh, options uh, though. Estelle told me she really likes the design, the decoration looks kind of sleek, modern, looks clean too. Yeah, let's um, see what else this, this lounge has to offer. <music> Here we go, I 
sandwiches, we have two sandwiches. So we have one sandwich here with um, ham and butter. And the other one, let me show you, with chicken, dry tomato, and uh, uh, some lettuce. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's um, give it a try. Well, it's okay. Nothing special here. It's okay for an afternoon snack. But I think the other one, ham and butter. This is kind of disappointing, right? Um, special. Oh my god, I don't like to be on camera. Right? Hmm. Yeah, my, my wife is a little bit shy, so sorry for that. We are in France, so what I really need to do here is to at least uh, check out the wine. It's okay, wine. This is Muscat. Um, um, it's a uh, French aperitif. Which is an aromatic white wine, a little bit on the sweet end. I highly recommend if you get a chance to try this one, it's very delicious. Okay, you know, before I give you my conclusion, I wanna, of course, make good on my promise and tell you what um, La Croix Rouge du Sud, um, the cross um, of the south, means. Um, I show it to you first. Here it is. So that's the uh, cross of the south which is a symbol for this region here around Toulouse um, which is known as Occitanie. Do you want to conclude the lounge review? <laughs> okay, okay, let's start with the um, uh, facilities. Facilities, uh, we give them uh, three stars. It is a two-level lounge, but only the first floor was open. Uh, on the first floor it was quite nicely decorated um, but on the ground floor it seemed to be uh, uh, not renovated um, so this is how the uh, uh, lounge looked before the update and yeah I, I think it could be bigger I mean they, they should absolutely use the space uh, on the ground floor yeah, the facilities are kind of limited. And the next category is food and drinks. This was a real letdown, I have to say. So when you come to France as a foreigner and you've never been here, I think uh, you expect delicious French food, but not here in Toulouse, not in this lounge, uh, I have to say. And yeah, very basic, no choice at all. Mm, just uh, two sandwiches, right? Some snacks, that's it. Not a big... Uh, choice of drinks either two three different wine options uh, but no white wine no sparkling wine uh, no non-alcoholic beer for example so yeah in this area they really need to improve for sure um, and the third category um, is the cleanliness I think this was okay um, there was a lady picking up dirty plates um, but uh, not disinfecting the tables so for that reason i want to give them four stars and i got about the personal this is the um, category where they shine uh, five stars um, in terms of personal very friendly very polite as most french uh, um, people are so which brings us to a total of 14 out of 20 uh, stars i would say a below average lounge um, I don't know if you can get paid access for 30 euros. If you consider doing this, maybe consider again. <laughs> I can't recommend it, at least not now. And hopefully they will improve in the future. While I'm waiting here for uh, the boarding to start to Paris, um, I'm hoping that you enjoyed this lounge review as uh, always. Um, well then thanks once again and talk to you soon take care bye bye